Hi guys, it's Dan here and today I have for you a short tutorial on how to install Windows 11 on M1 Mac with Parallels and without TPM which as you probably know is a requirement for Windows 11. So I saw already several videos out there on how to install Windows 11 but most of them require downloading two ISOs and replacing some files and there is much easier and simpler way to do it. So today I'm gonna show you super easy way how to get Windows 11 on your M1 Mac. If you are new to this channel then please hit the like button to help with YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Ok so there are two requirements. We first need Windows 10 ARM Insider Preview and also we need Parallels. So first we have to download Windows 10 ARM Preview. To do that you have to be registered in Insider Preview. So if you will type Windows Insider Program and go to the website. And you can see that here there is register button and you have to sign in with your Microsoft account and register. I already have an account so I will just log into my account. And when you are logged in, there is this flight tab and you can see here that there is option to download a Windows Insider Preview ISO. So let's click this link. You might be asked to sign in again with the account that you registered to Windows Insider program. So let's sign in again. And here on the sidebar on the right, you have Windows 10 on ARM Insider Preview. So let's click that and download the ISO using this download button. I already downloaded mine, so I will move to the next step. So now we have to install Parallels. If you just want to try it, you can download the free trial. It works for 14 days, so that's enough to play around if this is what you want. And if not, then you probably have to buy the full version to use it all the time. So download the free trial or just start Parallels if you already have it. So after installation you will see a screen like this and then when you click continue there is option to create new image using Windows ISO. So click continue. Parallels will detect image on its own or if not you can just choose manually and then drag and drop the image to the window. And now continue to start the installation. I will select productivity and leave the defaults. So Windows is setting up and we can continue in a moment. Ok, so the installation is complete. And as you can see in the corner, it's Windows 10 as expected. And now we have to switch to the dev branch to download Windows 11. To do that we need to go to registry editor, so please type rec edit. And here H key, local machine, software, Microsoft and look for Windows self host. And here UI selection and under UI branch you will have probably release preview or something like that so you just have to modify this value and type dev mine is already changed since I did the switch already two days ago so apparently it's picked up now by default you can also change the UI ring to external and content to mainline but 
but just changing the UI branch to dev in this section should be enough. And now we have to go to applicability and here under branch name as well we need to modify and type dev which for me is also already changed. So just these two changes applicability branch name dev and UI selection UI branch dev. When these two values are changed restart your virtual machine and then start Windows Update. Okay, so my machine is restarted. Let's go to Windows Update. If updates are paused, we can just resume them and Windows should detect Windows 11 update to install. So as you can see, Windows 11 was detected. Let's download all the updates. And as you can see, when we reached 8%, we got a pop-up that this PC can't run Windows 11 due to lack of TPM. So now we have to trick Windows into thinking that the appraisal was already done. So to do that, open File Explorer, go to C drive and look for appraiser res.dll. As you can see, the file was found under this directory. So right click it and go open file location. And here right click the file and select cut. Don't paste the file anywhere yet, just wait a moment. Now, now click continue, which for me showed up in Chinese language, I think. So as you can see, setup is cleaning up before it closes and when you do that click fix issues and then the download starts again and now try to paste the file to desktop or some folder and as you can see when the file was pasted we got a different notification almost ready there is also a possibility that you will get an error first that the file is not there because Windows will start downloading from the beginning and only after you will pass around 6% you will be able to paste the file. So just try to paste it until you will be able to succeed. It's usually somewhere between 6 to 8% and when you will succeed you should see a window like this. Now when you click close the download will continue. And when it passed 9%, we have to go back and paste the file again to the original folder because later there will be check for files validation and the file has to be in place. So I will paste it back. And as you can see, the download continues. So let's wait for Windows 11 to download. We are at 99% so the installation should start in a moment and the installation is in progress as you can see. So we've reached 100% of installation and now we are asked to restart Windows. So let's restart our machine. As you can see Windows is still finishing up on updating. Windows 11 is now preparing the desktop for us and in a few minutes we should be able to play around with Windows 11. And as you can see the setup finished. And we have Windows 11 installed. Parallels is reinstalling some tools and we need to restart again the machine. And that's it. Windows 11 is installed. We can go to settings, system, about. We can verify that this is Windows 11 Pro and it's running on Apple Silicon. We have the new start menu. Edge is installed by default. 
there are the new gestures and the new file explorer so hey guys that's it we installed windows 11 on m1 mac i'm using it already for several days and it works pretty well so i hope this worked for you as well please let me know in the comments and if yes please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you for watching and see you in the next one